Hi everybody, it's Jen here doing a video today. I'm here to talk to you about something a little different from what we normally talk about, but that's okay. We like different. Um, just a little update too. I'm not doing anything fitness related today because I haven't been able to be fitnessy. I've been busy, A, which isn't really an excuse, but C, my 52 hike challenge has really turned into a non-event because it has been so rainy here in Colorado and cold that the trails are muddy and they're just not really hikeable and they're finally starting to dry out. Um, I think next week up here where I live, it's finally gonna break 70. We have been in like the 50s and the low 60s. Yeah, we haven't really had a spring or a, any start of summer yet. The wildflowers up here are blooming really late. So anyway, yeah, I'm hoping to get back to some hiking soon and have some pictures from the trail for you soon and share some of that excitement here in the next few weeks. But until then, I am here to share, share with you something that Meredith and I are excited about. I know I'm excited about it. I was so excited about it. I told Meredith she needed to look at it too and get one for herself because she and I, and I think the other ladies on Scootadoo too, are big planner people. We like to plan. We have plans, especially for races, right? You gotta plan out your whole training routine and your whole plan, nutrition, all of that stuff. And while this isn't designed for that specifically, I think you could use it for that as well. So today I'm gonna to talk about my new favorite thing. It's called the Clever Fox Planner. And I, this happens to be the Clever Fox Pro. And it's kind of big. It's like a standard letter size, eight and a half by 10, I think, or something um, size. And I got it in purple, obviously my favorite color. And after I told Mer Meredith about it, she went and got it in purple too, because we love purple. So um, I'm gonna walk you through some of the features that I love about it. What I like about this journal is that um, it's like a life planner. It helps you map out your goals with actionable steps to get to it. It's part bullet journal and it's part day planner. Um, so it has a lot of features in it. Again, this is the pro version. They make just a regular uh, weekly or monthly version or daily version too, I believe. That's smaller, five by seven, and they're all undated so you can buy them anytime and start them anytime. And they're really reasonably priced. I paid $35 for this and it's a, it's a year long planner and um, the website is really great. It has a lot of cool information about what you can do with it. So. I'm gonna show you some of the features of my Clever Fox Pro Planner. You can get them on their website or on Amazon, and I think you're really gonna love it. Hold on. This is not endorsed, by the way. I didn't get any endorsements for this. I'm not getting any kickbacks for this. This is just a product I found that I loved. I loved it so much, I actually got one for my niece who just graduated from college, because like I said, it's a life planner. It, it's helping you look 20 years out of your life and where you wanna be in 20 years, which, once you reach a certain age, it's kind of scary to think about 20 years out in the future. But never mind. We'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, here it comes, the features. Okay, so here's the planner. Um, it has this nice elastic band here to keep everything nice and safe. And then um, the first page is like contact information if you lose it. And then here we kind of get into like the self-discovery section. So getting you to think about like what you want in a few years, excuse me. Uh, so we have awareness and self-discovery, a vision for the future of the life you want, core values, what are you passionate about? What brings you joy? And these are things important to think about. I mean, yeah, it's what's important in life. Uh, what's my life purpose and mission? What should I avoid in order to have a happier, more fulfilling life? What am I grateful for? Affirmations. And things I need to remind myself, which I kind of love that section because we don't do that enough. Okay, and then we have our vision board, which I haven't done mine yet. But I mean, you could put collage, you could draw, you could just write, you know, whatever you want in here for the year for your vision. And then here we get into the planning I kind of mentioned earlier about 20 year planning. Um, so one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years. Don't look at that number. Look at these numbers and then it's kind of broken into a category of like life area health and fitness sorry um has uh business career family friends relationships um finance personal development fun recreation and spiritual 
And then there's a section for notes with the dot grid style here on both pages. And then this kind of breaks it down into a year. So based on those categories we just looked at, what are you going to do this year? Um, yeah, so it kind of gives you some more room to think about that and break it down into something more actionable so it's not overwhelming for you. And then it breaks it down even more from there into three month goals. So you have goal one and it says why I want it, reward it for, if achieved, goal two, goal three, and then on the opposite page, a mind map on how you can achieve these goals. What are you gonna do to get there? And again, you don't have to use it the way I did. You could draw, you could make a collage on magazines, whatever helps you map out your plan best for you. And then here we come into uh, the months, month calendars, and it's broken up into three months at a time based on their three month goal section. So first here, I got mine in May, so I started in May. We have the days, again, I started it um, May, yeah, sorry, mid-May, but it's um, undated, that's what I'm trying to say. So you can start at any time of year. And here we have a notes section, uh, this month's goals, and then here at the bottom of this page, we've got um, things I'll do to make this month great, skills and habits, distractions to avoid, uh, places to go, people to see, and then one thing I always wanted to do. And then this is one of my favorite features about the, the Pro Planner. You don't get this page in the other versions. It only comes in the Pro, but it's like a month review. So you look at, I did it for May. Um, what were my biggest wins, biggest lessons learned and insights gained, uh, which, what was lacking and why, and then it gives you this little chart to fill out it's like sectioned into 10 spaces, it's so one through 10, colored in however you like. I like the colory stuff, the creative stuff. It helps me get my brain flowing. Um, and then on this page says what tasks were not completed and why, or accomplished and why, how do I feel about my progress, rate the month on a scale of one to 10, and then how will I improve next month? So I love that, I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> so it kind of helps me have like the how will I improve stuff and everything. And then here I have June, and I forgot to mention, um, it has three different ribbons here, three different bookmarks, and I use the red one to mark my month that I'm in. So here we're in June. Um, I'm filming today here. And next week I'm going to Savannah for work. My sister's tagging along. Um, I have some other stuff going on. Yeah, so I just love this, another month review in case, of course, this is empty because June isn't over yet. I haven't filled it out. Um, and then we go into July, the review for July. Um, and then the three month goal starts over again. So every three months you get this page to refill out your goals and then you start over um, with filling in your month. So that's the monthly calendar for the year. I use my second green, uh, the second green bookmark to mark my weeks, which I don't even have it marked correctly, sorry. Ah, here we go. Um, so, this is this week for me. I'm going to go back a few. I kind of slipped a little bit. But this one here, this is a good example. So, we've got the day of the week. Um, here, we've got today's goals and priorities. Top three priorities for that day. What do you need to get done that day? Most important. And then on this side, we have pages I love again. Um, the main goal for the week and what will be your reward if you get it done. And then top priorities, work to-do list, personal to-do list. And then here's some more of the bullet journal features come in. Here's um, like a habit tracker for you to fill in however you like. Uh, life balance to-do list. We have, again, those, those categories that are recurring as a theme throughout the, the planner. And then what am I excited about? And um, I also use another method from Danielle Laporte called uh, the desire map planner. And so I have my core desire feelings. What do I want to feel this week, most importantly? And then how can I do stuff to make myself feel this way? <laughs> it's really cool, so you should check it out as well. And then here this section, this week's wins, lessons learned, how will I improve, which I obviously failed to do that week. But again, you can decorate it however you want. I've used the washi tape a lot and some brush pens. So it gives you that like creative thing. 
and yeah. And then I use my last marker, the blue one here, to mark all of the bullet page, uh, bullet pages, I should say. So you got the four, the dot grid journal pages. I think there's 50 of these pages in here. I haven't really done mine yet. I just started with this one, my sole purpose. Um, but yeah, you've got 50 pages of dot grid to do whatever you want with. So if you're a bullet journaler, that is what you want to see. It also came with a bunch of stickers, not these ones, hold on. Not those ones either. Yeah. Came with these ones. These stickers here. Came with stickers for you to use. Let's play around with. I feel like there was more stickers. Guess not. And then just this other nice pocket to put whatever you need to in. This was a birthday card for my husband for our anniversary last week. 17 years. But anyway, so that is the clever fox bullet journal and i think you will really like it if you check it out okay so as you can see this planner has tons of features i think it's definitely customizable for a half marathon or marathon training planner any kind of athlete you might be um there with all the bullet journal pages in the back you can absolutely customize like a nutrition plan or notes or goals anything you need in there um they're super affordable and if you like traditional planners, if you like goal setting planners, and if you like bullet journaling, this is the all in one for you. Save yourself the time, but get all the same features. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you'll check out Clever Fox. Like I said, I got no endorsements or kickbacks or anything for this video. I just really thought this was a really cool product because I'm kind of a bullet journal journaling nerd and collect these and then use half of them, but not this one. I know I'm gonna use the entire thing all year long. So yeah, let me know what you think or if you have any favorite journals, I'm always willing to check out new things or pens or tape or whatever goofy nerdy stuff you guys might have to throw at me. So anyway, lots of love from Colorado. Have a great day.